Hello everybody, my name is Alan from Sauber Lab and today will be another video about MIDI stream. This time will not show any MIDI stream for video. This time will be only for audio. And in this case, I will show how you can install Navidromi. This application, it's a little bit lightweight compared for other ones that I showed before and that this application used for audio stream. In this way, you can have all your media in your computer and that you can stream for you anywhere and any place as you want. As well as advanced, they work quite well in any device. You have some standard application that you can install on your phone. I think that the same that work for all kind of media stream and that you can access it in your phone and play anywhere. You can do downloads and continue on. This video will not show how you can install it in your phone because it's a basic step and I think that it's not necessary, but I will show how it's work this application and if you like, then you can go for the next step how to install it. If you don't like, stop for now and that's a look for another video. But let's start if you like this idea and want to know a little bit more about this application and how it's working, if it's good for you, don't forget to leave your like, consider to subscribe for the channel and let's do it. Okay, before I start to show how to install it, let's go for the website and try to understand how it works and see if it's good for you or not. First of all, it's, they say, your personal stream servicing, so it's work for media stream, for audio stream, don't start to get a video because it's not work. If you go a little bit down, they say that's work everywhere, it's work quite well with web UI, third party application, US, Android, and continue on. They say that you work with a large selection of mobile clients and use integration web players. So if I can open here, let's see what kind of application that they work. They say that you use really low resource, so can work it in a Raspberry Pi Zero. If you come here in application at work, so if you have a US, it will work with Substream, what the application that I like to use more, but as well will work with other ones. And uh, the same thing for Android, web, desktop and continue on. So let's close it. And uh, they say that it's a work quite fast. They say that work with a gigantic music collection. So they test it with 900,000 sounds with different formats and quality and that they work quite well. So it's great. Uh, Transcode on fly and others applications. Principally, what is more inter interesting is hand a large library. What's the problem that I have? I have others application that they start to play for some time work quite well, but when they start to handle, uh, not large, but a little bit uh, bigger library, they start to have problems. Let's say if I open my folder of uh, media, I have a lots of uh, different um, bands, different uh, kind of media. If I put uh, to see what I have there, if I put here, I have around seven, 4,000 sounds. So I have a few of them. And when I try to use other applications, they don't work so well. And uh, this application so far, it's working well and handling much better than others. This is that interesting to show this option and see if you like or not. So let's come back in the website and we come here in the option for demo. Here in the demo, they say that uh, you can use this user and this uh, password. Something that's interesting before didn't come in my mind and now come. You know that uh, they say that uh, this server, it's using in a virtual machine. So potentially you can use a virtual machine to run this application. One of the options that uh, maybe next video will show, it's how to install Oracle Cloud. So you have uh, uh, one core, 512 megabytes, 10 gigabytes of uh, disk, and uh, they will cost two pounds. So you can have a media stream only for two pounds a month. I don't know. If I come here and go, go to our demo, if you open here, I'm using my use as a demo. I cannot select anything else. I cannot uh, create a user or anything, but at least you have an idea. If I come here for all music, they show that I have around uh, 45 albums. And if I come here in one of albums, I can come here and select which music. As well, they already show what quality of music they have. They have different quality re resolution. So potentially you can uh, transcode any of those for be exactly the same quality. If I come here most play, they will show which one that has been most played. If I come here in sounds, also you can come here in playlist and can create a different playlist. So imagine that you want to go in the gym and that you create a playlist for the gym. You go in the car and do a playlist for the car. You do this, 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 that, and this way you have all your playlists the way that you like. 
So have this one in mind, now we can start to go to the installation. The image that you're gonna install is this one. They say that's the official image for this application, media server, and uh, has been updated eight days ago and have over 10 million downloads. If I go a little bit down, they say what kind of fixtures. That they say that it can handle a very large music collection. They can stream uh, from different, different applications they can uh, convert music and other thing that is interesting that they use less than 500 megabytes if you have a, a collection of 29,000 media more or less you know give and take also you have a different platforms that you can run so it's a mac linux windows and the docker in this case it's a docker image you potentially can install exactly the same image in a Raspberry Pi as long as you have enough capacity to handle it. Also, they show again the demo, and that's the image that you're gonna the way that you're gonna install will be this way, Docker Compose. Before we install, we can see that this image will work with AMD, ARM, and ARM64, so it will work with pretty much everything that you have. If I come here and copy this Docker Compose, I can go to Portainer and paste it. But before I paste it and start to create my stock, I will ask this revision tree will work. Yes, will work. Before it didn't work, but after this update that they did, now it's my pertaining revision 2.11, they work without any problems. So let's open and paste this information. We gonna get the same name only to guarantee that you not forget in the future, so it's done. The part that they suggest for us to use is 433. You're gonna ask, it's good this port? Yes, it's totally fine. If you don't have other application, you can leave this one. And we give some example of configuration. They say that uh, each one hour will be done the scan if you need a little bit less put, but I think that one hour is fine. If it's using too much of your capacity to be scanning every time, every one hour, so you can change it for three, five, six, ten hours, depending on what you need. Uh, the type of log will be only info, and that's uh, the NED base URL. You put your website here? No, don't put, because I tried to do it and didn't work well. I don't know why, maybe I did something wrong, but the best way, you can uh, only use the port 443 in your proxy manager and that they will work quite well and have the SSL certification the same way. So let's leave it this way. Now the volumes. As I'm showing this video only to do this installation, so we'll put exactly the MMT folder, but I really strongly suggest you to don't do it. So uh, let's do by MMT slash uh, the same same, Navidromi. Now, where I locate my music, I locate exactly in the same place, it will be mmt slash music. And now, done these volumes that I need, I can come here and put deploy this stack. Now, I'm gonna wait for finishing to do the installation. Once it's done the installation, we can come here in the container. We go for this application that just start and go in log. Once that they start to appear lots of information here, in my case is empty folder because I didn't put anything in this one, but it will start to scan for you. So once that you start to scan it, we can open this application. But before we open, let's configure our proxy manager. If I open my proxy manager, what I need to do? Let's open this configuration. I need to define my website. In my case, it will be this application. I need to define the ports. I need to define the IP that I'm using. Uh, when I need to, 168.1.223, the port that I'm using for 533, and here will be my SL certification. I leave everything on only to guarantee that uh, will be safe. Done this once, I can put save. And once that I open this one, they already appear this page. What you're gonna do in this page, you're gonna create your admin user. So this one is really important, this user, because they will control all your servers. So let's create. Once that you create your user, you can put create admin. Now we have our admin, they will do start the search and after a few minutes, they will find some music. Don't worry, it will take really long time to do the first scan. I'm surprised that I didn't finish to scan my media, but once that they scan, they don't need to rescan everything from zero. They only look for changes, so it will be much faster. What I need to worry about this first configuration, if I come here in settings, users, I can create different users. It's just come here and create different users. Other thing that I need to worry, it's this transcoding. So if I want all my MP3 will be 192 bit rate, I can select here and here. If I come here, let's see what else that then. The player, they will show the players. And the same thing that I showed before, you can have audio, you can have some playlists that you can create, select four songs, audio, and continue on. Thank you guys for watching the video until now. In the first time that I was thinking about this video, I was thinking to show how you can add this application to your phone. 
but because I already showed before and also it's not so difficult to step and because I have more than one application it will be quite difficult to cover all of those and not necessarily the application that I like more will be the same that you like so for finish I hope that you like this video if you don't like if you like if you like leave your like consider to subscribe for the channel and see you next time bye